Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's get started. Today, find out how the price of IOTA has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA, Divergence and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the IOTA hourly time frame, the price went up by around 2.0% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 22.0 cents. It's evident that the buyers are taking over because the volume was high, showing that the move was strong. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 21.9 cents it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 22.1 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. It's important to note that currently the price is below the 200 SMA, which is normally a strong resistance. A potential move upwards, however, could be signaled if it were to break decisively upwards. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, at the moment, the price is above the hourly ribbon, which can be perceived as bullish and the ribbon could play as a support. This means that you should watch if the price could bounce off the ribbon. The current price to watch is around 21.9 cents. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Usually, when the price moves to the side, the ribbon is less reliable. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, there was a bullish divergence and the price already went up. Moving to the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. But according to the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is going down. Owing to this we can expect the price to remain stable and you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be a downward trend. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 50 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 21.8 cents it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 23.0 cents could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Moving to the 3 hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is in the 3 hourly ribbon, so it is to see if the price can break the resistance currently at around 22.2 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and the trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. Jumping to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 24.1 cents. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, the price at the moment is, is situated below the daily ribbon, which is usually bearish and the ribbon can act as a resistance, so you should keep an eye on if the price will break it or bounce of it. The current price to watch is around 25.1 cents. However, the ribbon is compressed, which means the current trend is not very strong and the trend change could be expected. Generally, when the price moves sideways, the ribbon gets less accurate. Jumping to the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the upside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate for some time and you should wait to see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out.
If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time.